Hey there, music enthusiasts and aspiring artists. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a topic that's often overlooked, but critically important for musicians. The ins and outs of a musician's personal manager's role, earnings after their term, the key man clause, and the power of attorney in the music industry. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out in the music biz, this video is for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on valuable music industry insights. Let's dive right in. First and foremost, let's talk about the personal manager. A musician's personal manager plays a pivotal role in their career. They handle everything from scheduling and promotions to negotiations and financial matters. It's a crucial partnership that can make or break an artist's career. But what happens when their term ends? When a musician and their personal manager part ways, it's essential to consider the financial aspects. Many times, managers will negotiate a commission or percentage of the artist's earnings during their term. However, what about the earnings generated after the manager's tenure? This is where post-term commissions come into play. In the artist-manager contract, there's usually a section that addresses post-term commissions. It outlines what percentage, if any, the manager is entitled to from the artist's future earnings, even after they're no longer actively managing the artist. This can be a point of contention, so it's crucial for both parties to negotiate these terms fairly before signing. Try to have a termination date where all commission to the personal manager ends. I would aim for three to five years after you and your manager part ways. Now, let's move on to the key man clause, which is something artists should be aware of when negotiating with their managers. The key man clause typically states that if a specific person, often the manager themselves, leaves the management company or is unable to continue working with the artist for any reason, the artist has the option to terminate the contract. This clause safeguards the artist's trust in the person they initially hired and ensures that their career isn't disrupted if that key individual departs. Lastly, let's discuss the power of attorney in the context of music management. A power of attorney clause grants the manager certain legal authority to act on behalf of the artist. This might include signing contracts, handling financial matters, or making important decisions when the artist is unavailable. While it can be convenient for the artist, it's crucial to define the extent of this power clearly and establish trust between the parties involved. I personally would avoid giving your personal manager this much power the only person who should have the power to sign on your behalf is you. So there you have it, folks. A breakdown of the musician's personal manager's role, post-term earnings, the key man clause, and the power of attorney in the music industry. Remember, a well-negotiated contract can be the foundation of a successful and harmonious artist-manager relationship. Make sure to consult with legal professionals and experienced industry insiders to navigate these waters effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow musicians. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep making beautiful music.